I know you're probably wondering, why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? And that, my friends, is because it is always sunny in Cacaville. Hey, also to Ray, I'm gonna be doing another booty guru video. And for the first time ever, I'm gonna be doing like an empties haul. In this box, I have hair products, skincare products, and body products that I have used up entirely every single last gota. And I'm gonna be giving y'all my 100% honest opinion on whether or not the products were trash and a waste of my coin. All of the products that I talk about in this video will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience. So let's get started out of the box. Out of the box. Ooh, wow. Okay. So first, let's start with hair care. First, I got the Not Your Mother's Activated Bamboo Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Restore and Reclaim line. The name is literally as long as a Star Wars intro. This is honestly my favorite affordable duo when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. They're sulfate-free and silicone-free. They are also cruelty-free. The shampoo does a really good job of cleansing your hair without stripping it. And the conditioner has really, really good slip, but it's very light and fluffy. So I honestly recommend this for anyone of all hair types. For the price, these are very, very, very good. So I rate 8 out of 8, mate. The next hair products is the Plain Products Rosemary and Mint Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner. These are the trial-sized bottles. They're sulfate-free, silicone-free, vegan, cruelty-free, palm oil-free, and plastic-free, so it's a great eco-friendly alternative. And that's why it breaks my heart to say that I just... I didn't like these products, which again, breaks my heart because I just love the philosophy of this brand and I wanted to like these so much. I really wanted them to be my official shampoo and conditioner, but goodness gracious, it just did not work for my hair. The shampoo did an okay job at cleansing my scalp. It just made my hair feel a little more straw-like than other shampoos that I've tried, but there is just so much essential oils in this product that it made my scalp itch the conditioner if you have very dry thick thirsty hair this will not do the job the slip it has is like honestly like two out of five it it definitely needs to be worked into the hair to try and get knots out but I would say that this would work best for people who have thinner, finer hair that is straight. Next is the Not Your Mother's Curl Tuck Gel. If you an OG, you know I've been talking about this gel since the day that it came out. And in my opinion, it still stands as the best drugstore gel that I have personally tried. It's alcohol-free, silicone-free, and cruelty-free. And it gives medium hold without making the hair flaky or crunchy. And it combines beautifully with leave-in conditioner. It's just a really good freaking gel. So for the price, I definitely think it's worth your coin and definitely worth a try. So now it is time for skincare. But, um... My dumb nalgas, I recycled the container before I filmed this video. Yeah, I'm, I'm really dumb. But I got pictures here to prove it that I used it up. Okay, so y'all don't think that I'm lying. It is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser. It is sulfate-free and fragrance-free. This cleanser has a very creamy consistency that cleanses the skin very deeply. But my skin still felt very supple and hydrated after using it. It is a very high quality cleanser that works for all skin types in my opinion because me and Martin shared this cleanser and used it up together and he has oily skin and I have dry skin and we both really like that cleanser. Like when we finished it up and I recycled the container, he was like, where is it? Where is it? What'd you do with it? What'd you, what, what happened? He low-key flipped out on me and was very upset that there was none left. So <laughs> there you go. Very great cleanser and definitely worth the coin for sure next is the coco kind rose water toner this rose water is organic and it just felt very light on the skin very hydrating it didn't make my face itchy or irritated my only complaint about this product is the pump as you can see i had to toss it because it kind of stopped working and it had a very harsh like like i don't know how to explain like it's a it's like a very harsh jet it didn't spray like a fine mist you know it didn't feel like that amazing unicorn fart it more felt like i was being freaking hosed down on the jet setting now something else i want to talk about 
So there are people saying that it's beneficial for the skin and then there's other people who are saying that no, it's not beneficial to your skin. And I spoke with a dermatologist MD today and he told me he doesn't believe that rose water is like this miraculous cure all, you know, transformative skincare ingredient. But he also told me that he doesn't believe that it is so potent to the point where it would like ruin your skin. If you like rose water, keep using it. However, keep in mind that there is no regulation when it comes to rose water. Some people do make rose water straight from roses, while other people might mix uh, rose essential oil and just put that into water and call that rose water. But that is what he told me personally. You know, I know other dermatologists have different opinions. So if y'all have ever spoken to a dermatologist about rose water, let me know what they say because I'm just very, very split on the issue. <sighs> first world problems. In general though, I did like this rose water. Next is the squalene oil from The Ordinary. Squalene oil is a saturated fat, which means that it is very stable, has a stable shelf life, and it is a lot less prone to oxidization. It is also considered an occlusive oil, which helps to trap in moisture, so it could technically function as a moisturizer. However, I will let y'all know, out of all the squalene oils that I've tried, this is definitely the thickest, and it takes the longest to uh, absorb into the skin but it made my skin feel super soft and supple and glowy and I personally really enjoyed it. So the last skincare product I'm going to talk about is the Zit Sticka Killa Spot Clarifying Patch Kit. These are micro dart pimple patches which is a pimple patch with micro darts like I just said. The patches contain sodium hyaluronate, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. So if you're like me and you get those cysts that like freaking feel like a second brain and they like start forming their own like network of blood vessels and nerves and you can just kind of like feel it freaking pulsating, this is gonna get rid of it, period. It is that good. However, this box comes with eight patches. It's $30. <laughs> Although it's expensive, personally, I will be repurchasing again, but I will only be using them very wisely for those cysts that I feel like, dude, like, I need the most help I can get here. So this is definitely a very bougie investment, but honestly, y'all, I can say with full confidence, this is the best pimple patch on the market, period. So last but not least, we're gonna be talking about the Bari. First is the Native Deodorant in Cucumber and Mint. This flavor, well, I meant scent. Um, please don't eat your deodorant. I shouldn't have to tell y'all not to eat your deodorant, but like, remember Tide Pods? It contains coconut oil, shea butter, cucumber fruit extract, spearmint, and bitter orange flower oil. Now this does contain baking soda, but they do have formulas without baking soda. So if you have sensitive armpits that become itchy with natural deodorants, definitely go for the ones without baking soda. Also fun fact, native deodorants are palm oil free, which is pretty freaking dope. When it comes to natural deodorants like this, it does not stop sweat very well, but you won't be smelly. So I actually really, really like this a lot. I'm actually on my second stick already. I'm using the uh, coconut and vanilla. And not gonna lie, it's a little bit spendy, but I mean, I genuinely believe it is the best natural deodorant that I've tried thus far. And uh, I mean, I'm on my second stick. I really like it. Next is the Hello Anti-Plaque and Whitening Toothpaste Tablets. Toothpaste tablets are really freaking dope. They're basically just mints that turn into toothpaste. They are absolutely amazing to travel with and it is no problem with TSA because it's not a liquid. They are also plastic free. This is actually a metal tin container. Welcome to my ASMR. Out of all the toothpaste tabs that I've tried, this is definitely my favorite brand of toothpaste tab. However, this flavor in particular, I was not a fan of. I just feel like my, my mouth just didn't feel very clean. I like their charcoal toothpaste tablets way better. The charcoal tablets make my mouth feel way more clean. So I will not be purchasing this flavor again. I'm going to be repurchasing the charcoal toothpaste tabs. And those are going to be my official new toothpaste. I really, really like them. And now, last but not least, it is the Buddha Butter Creamy Cocoa Eco Balm. It's an eco-friendly lip balm that is made of coconut oil, macadamia oil, candelilla wax, cocoa butter, and pure cacao absolute. 
It's plastic free and it comes in a paper tube that is compostable and recyclable. So this is actually the second tube that I've finished up and I'm currently working on my third one. I freaking love this lip balm. It's really, really good, very hydrating. My lips be thirstier than freaking nematodes, okay? You know those little worms in SpongeBob that be like thirsty, thirsty? I used to have to constantly apply and reapply and reapply, but with this one, I only apply like once a day maybe twice and i'm good to go which is pretty rare for my lips and plus the fact that it's eco-friendly it just it makes my heart happy my only constructive criticism is that i really wish that i had some sort of tint to it a little bit of something a little splash of something so i can look less like la llorona all right y'all so that is my box of empties let me know down below if you have tried any of these products and let me know what products that you're loving right now comment like and subscribe and let me know down below what else you would like to see on this channel thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day bye